Good evening, boys and girls. Miss Underwood is back to read our story tonight. I have picked a really cool book, and it is a brand new book to my collection. It is by Peter H. Reynolds, and it is called Be You. Now, we have read several books this past year in my classroom, and you did an art project with Miss Smith. Um, based off some books by Peter Reynolds. Now, Peter Reynolds, he wrote The Word Collector, which we read, and then he also wrote The Dot, and you celebrated The Dot Day in Miss Smith's art class this year. So, I want for you to pay very close attention to Peter Reynolds' brand new book, Be You, because... He's already a favorite of ours, and so we know we love his books. And this one, when I saw it, I could not help but fall in love with it and thought that I had to read it to you tonight and share it with you. So, let us begin. You were born to be so many things. Look at all those words. And they say things like spiritual, dynamic, smart, humble, brave, sleepy, yourself, insightful, generous, polite, kind. Oh, Miss Underwood loves that word. Empathetic, thoughtful, hopeful, exuberant, generous, open-minded, funny, spirited, curious, colorful, moody, heroic, helpful, loving, patient, optimistic, inventive. Hungry, active, mindful, persistent, exuberant, peaceful, loving, adventurous, creative, hopeful, icy, sweet, cheerful, loved, clever, peaceful, rational, interesting, connected, sympathetic, respectful, artistic, ambitious, strong, connected, and gentle. Loving, surprising, and venice. My wish for you, no matter where your journey leads you, is for you always to be you. Be ready to take the next step toward an amazing human being. Be curious. Turn every stone. Ask every why. Keep digging deeply. Discover your own answers. Be adventurous. Live a big life. When you are ready, step outside your comfort zone. Bravery, explore new paths and see where they lead you. Be connected. Find kindred spirits. Be with those who make you feel like the real you. Be persistent, keep going, never stop. Keep going, never stop. Keep going, never stop. Be different. Be silly, be quirky, be odd, be unique, be weird, be colorful, be okay with being different. Be just the way you are. Be kind, be understanding. Help those around you to be themselves. Listen, then listen some more. Learn more about who they are. Be brave. Try new things. Take a deep breath and plunge forward into new experiences. It gets easier every time you try. Be your own thinker. Think for yourself. Set your own unique course, and it isn't always easy, but you'll be heading in the direction of you. Be okay being alone. Take time to be on your own. Hear your own thoughts, your inner voice, and listen to your heart. Be patient. Being more you takes time. Take a deep breath. Relax. Let your future unfold at its own pace. It will be worth the wait. 
be okay reaching out for help. When you need a helping hand, a compassionate ear, an encouraging word, reach out. As you voyage out into the world, remember, no matter what, you will always be loved. You are ready, so go ahead, be you. Be very, very you. Go ahead, be yourself. Be the best version of you. Each day is a new chance to be more you. And that was written by Peter Hamilton Reynolds. And so, Miss Underwood wishes for you to live a very big life. And she wants you to know that you can live a very big life by being you. And as we get older, we'll have others influence us and try to get us to do bad things or try to get us to make poor choices. But if we are always being ourselves and learning as we go along to be the best you, then it won't matter what others try to do. That if we're being the best you that we can be, then it won't matter what others try to do along the way. We will have built our brains to be strong, independent brains, and we can tell those others that try to influence us to do bad things that that's not a part of who I am. And then you can stay on that straight path of being you and on straight towards those goals you want to accomplish. So Miss Underwood wants you to know, just like this book says, you will always be loved. Because you know, once you're a member of Miss Underwood's family, you're always a member of Miss Underwood's family. And I love you from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. And I want you to continue to work on remembering to always be you. No matter what comes your way in life, be you. And I hope you have a great night. And Miss Underwood looks forward to seeing you virtually later. Good night.